Yo, before this video starts, I just want to point out that 90% of you guys aren't subscribed, so what are you doing? Subscribe, because I post new videos just like this one every single week. Anyways, enjoy the video. Peace. <laughs> what am I doing? Yo, what is up, Thrill Seekers? Today, I am here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Today um, is August 6th. Uh, this is the Thursday. Um, and it's the first day for the general public to come to the park. Um, I'm going to be going over everything that you guys need to know if you plan on coming here or even if you don't. Oh, hello. I'm going to be going over everything that is here um, so that if you come, then you'll know what to expect. And even if you don't come, then you'll be able to know what's going on here. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. It is pretty rainy today, so I'm really hoping that the rides will open, but it really could go either way, so let's do it. Here we are, Finnegan's Flyer. This ride is awesome. I absolutely love it. Thank you. <laughs> we have a coaster enthusiast. Here we are. They do have social distancing markers on the ground here. Another one of the safety measures is, of course, they are requiring masks at, at the park. So make sure you come here with a mask and make sure that you adhere to all of the social distancing markers, which are these green markers here on the ground. There are also some hand sanitizer stations right outside of all of the rides and at the ride exits as well so that you can sanitize your hands before and after your rides. Same with me. All right, so I just want to make a quick announcement. If you see the employee at the green swing, he's wearing a blue shirt. His name is Najee. I just want to let you guys know today is Najee's 21st birthday. So whenever you see him, we'll show up happy birthday. Happy birthday. Woo! 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 Oh man. Uh, okay. Happy Easter, bro. Thank you. Man, that is such a fun ride. Uh, for social distancing, they are um, not seating every, like, they're not doing every other seat. They're leaving two seats in between parties. From here, we're going to make our way down to France to get on um, the mythical Griffin. I'm excited. I'm so excited to get on Griffin again. Like... <laughs> Like I, dive coasters just get so much hate and I, I love this thing. Why do they get so much hate? I don't know, a lot of coaster enthusiasts like are idiots. My coaster enthusiast friends whenever I show them my top 10. Such a nice transition between areas, you know? Like you just step across the train tracks and then bam, you're in France. Not running. Oh man, kind of caught me by surprise there. 
Alrighty. Unfortunately, we're not and hanging we're over. Uh, here we go. Oh. Woo! Oh man. Oh. And boom, we just did Griffin. That is that is a great ride. I mean, honestly, I have no idea why people don't like dive coasters um, as much as they should be liked. Uh, super underrated ride. It is awesome. Um, anyways, we're going to come over here um, into this section of the park in order to do Invader. So let's do it. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Here we are, approaching the dead dragon. Okay, how is he still, his eyes are still open? How, he has a whole bunch of arrows in his head. Bruh. Decapitated bear train over there. Oh no guys, that train, it just went around and now it's going around again. And there was no other train, which, which means that no. What did I Guys, they dispatched that train in 58 seconds. 58 seconds to dispatch that train. These ride ops are killing it today. They are making one train ops feel like two or even three, honestly, like, geez. Exiting guests, please lift the harness and exit quickly, but carefully to your left. It's the old one. Huh? It's the old one. No, it's not. It's not? No, it was built in 2017. The newest one here. Really? Yeah. Man, that drop was surprisingly awesome. Oh, man. That was good. Yeah, I like that. It's a really good family good coaster. Stuff. Yeah. Hashtag what's in the shed. The transfer track. It's a booty hole. So different sections of the park are blocked off. For example, we tried to go that way. We cannot go that way. So, yeah, just know that if you're coming here. Um, even, of course, that area of the park does not have any rides operating in it but um, you can also not go in there in the first place. Anyways, we're gonna go over to Loch Ness Monster um, because that is the last thrill ride that we can do today. Um, and then we'll just kind of lap Griffin for a bit. Um, maybe do Invader once or twice. Finnegan's Flyer is always a blast and we'll head out. Quick tip for you guys, uh, some of the lines kind of look longer, but they're actually not. It's just for social distancing, um, so the people are a lot more spread out. Um, like for example, Griffin right now looks packed, but in reality, we maybe have to wait three or four trains for it. So 
here we go. Griffin, we're doing this again before we go over to Loch Ness Monster because we have to pass this in order to get to Loch Ness. So, yeah. I don't know where, oh, they're looking at the animals. Psh, why would you come to Bush Gardens to look at the animals? Ah, so dumb. Also, I don't know where they're going. Oh, they're going into the, again. Why come to Bush Gardens to look at the animals, you know? So weird. I'm here to ride this old, rattly, terrible for your head, arrow looping coaster. <laughs> Old Nessie. Whole bunch of rides here are themed to uh, mythical creatures, you know, like we have a mythical griffin, Loch Ness Monster, Vikings. My whole party abandoned me to look at horses. All around me are familiar faces, worn out. All of our guests and employees, please remember your face coverings at all times. Here we go. The glasses are on. Whee! They have officially abandoned me, so I'm just chilling on this ride by myself, but that's okay. I mean, I wouldn't want to ride Loch Ness Monster either. Doing it hashtag for the POV. And this chain motor is not doing good. This chain motor is struggling right now. the way up oh man yeah they need to replace that chain motor geez it is not having a great time right now here we go Whee! to get some of that same thing on the second top. Apparently, apparently they added trims to the second drop. No! Very disappointed. Not even mad, just disappointed. Loop-de-loop. And brakes. Yeah, that's a fun ride. Nothing too crazy, but all right. Something that I love about this transfer track is I love how like the actual shed that they, they get the trains into is down below here. So they just have this giant drop off right there. <laughs> like geez. Okay then. But uh, there you go. Loch Ness Monster. Round number two. Guess who decided to show up? Thomas the rest of your day through the bush gardens. Avidasa! They have like a special map just showing the areas of the park that are open. Right, so of course you can't go down to this bridge or anything over here. Interesting. Well, there you go. Wow. There he goes. <laughs> Me when someone says how many loop-de-loops a coaster has. <laughs> uh, Finnegan's Flyer. Now hold on tight. up there is next. Oh yes.
they are currently sanitizing the train so we're just gonna have to wait a second uh, the train that's on the course right now is the one that we can board so once that comes on back to the station we will be able to board that train now prepare to enjoy the power and speed of the mythical griffin Here for round two. Oh yeah. Alrighty, we just did a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't really talk too much about. Um, we just did Griffin twice. Uh, we did Finnegan's Flyer, um, and then we did Loch Ness Monster. Um, Loch Ness Monster, that chain lift, like the lift motor, not doing great. They should probably replace that because it was like really struggling to get us up there. It was kind of like pulsing up, which I don't remember it doing that before. Um, Griffin, amazing. Um, I actually prefer it in the back row. What's up? Um, I actually prefer it in the back row, which I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion. I've heard a couple people say that, um, but normally they're made from the front. We are going to do Invader now. Hey, um, uh, just really quickly, and then we'll probably go back over to Griffin to see if we can get last ride of the night on Griffin. Oh snap, they added the horse train. That's awesome. So they come, like doubled their capacity. Um, they just added the horse train. So there you go. Two train ops now. That was very fun. It was very clearly running a little bit faster than it was earlier today. Whoa. I don't know why I got this because I can't rub my hands, but uh, there you go. I'm just gonna awkwardly hold this here. It's a good ride. Uh, we're gonna go back over, probably go back over to Griffin um, to lap that a couple of times. Uh, hopefully get last ride of the night on Griffin. Oh yes. Uh, so let's go over and do that. And that'll pretty much cap off our day here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. row of course because it's the best row they're letting us stay on oh yeah let's go and we're going again oh yeah alrighty I think we got three rides while just staying on the train um, and then they said that we have to go around because we can only ride I guess apparently three times um, and then we have to go around so I guess if you're coming here expecting to stay on Griffin, uh, you can do that three times um, and then you have to go around. I actually am suggesting that maybe we ride the front real quick and then we can go back to the back um, and then we'll get last ride of the night. <laughs> Woo! And there we go. Last ride of the night here on the mythical Griffin. That was super awesome. We got front row. Um, I was able to only click my bar down once, um, which was super cool because, of course, we were in the front. We hung over the drop, and I was really, like, extending far forward in the drop, which um, was really, really fun for me um, and very definitely something that I haven't done any other trip here to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. But speaking of Busch Gardens Williamsburg, that is going to be it for our day here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Um, this was the coasters and craft beer event here. Um, there, I think, uh, I think uh, reservations are pretty much sold out. Um, you may be able to find a couple um, member ones. I know that they just opened up a couple um, from what I saw. Um, and then, of course, if you are a single day ticket holder, then most likely you'll be able, you'll be able to get a ticket, most likely for the afternoon. But anyways. This was an awesome day. Um, they have a whole bunch of super awesome safety measures. Um, and I, I don't know, it's just overall a great park. Um, the, the three roller coasters that were open were 
pretty all right. Of course, Griffin being the star of the show. So definitely an awesome day. Um, definitely recommend coming here. If there are reservations, 100% book them. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. And from today, I will see you guys all next time. Peace out. Thank you.